Welcome everybody. We're gonna, I thought I'd share with you today a little bit about uh, some storage water, rain water. I know a lot of states, it's illegal to get storage water, but it ain't here in Tennessee yet. So this might help you out for your little garden beds. I'll show you here, it's just a little simple. I'll show you the filter system I made. It's just, just use your imagination, nothing complicated. Water in, overflow, water out when you need it. So, stay tuned and uh, show you a little bit about it. Guys, there's a, here's something that helps you out around the house, especially in your little little garden, if you got a raised garden bed or just a regular garden. Because, uh, you know, using city water is not really good on a garden. Rain, rain water is the best way to go. So this would be good for your garden and your plants, around your bedding plants or whatever. But I'm gonna show you here what I've got. This is just a 55 gallon drum, plastic. And when you get one, first thing you need to find is something that's had food grade oil in it. Vegetable oil or something that's food grade. Don't get something that's had, you know, chemicals in it or kerosene and stuff like that. You can't get them clean and you just poison yourself. So what I'm saying is just get something that's biodegradable. They've got a marking on them. So, you clean them up real good and what I've done you could see I'll show you here what I've done here sorry for the sunlight here I've got mine tied in right with the gutter goes all the way up the house to my gutters all right it's simple simple setup gutter goes in and I'll explain to you more about the hole. You can fix them a number of ways. Use your imagination how you want it. But what I've got here, I'll show you what I've got. So, I've got water comes down the, the gutter here. I cut my gutter in two. It goes into the tank. And when the tank fills up, it comes out an overflow back into the gutter. You just cut in two and out here to the overflow. I've had this one in for about a season now, and it's been real good. I have to clean it out, especially I live under the trees. I've got to clean it out regularly after a good rain or so. If I don't, it, uh, it gets so much trash in it, you just can't stand it. Well, anyway, I'll show you here how I got it set up. Here on the bottom, I've got a three-quarter inch valve. And the way I put mine in, I put it in with silicone, but what i done you got a three quarter inch valve with regular pipe fittings on it. I drilled it just a little bit smaller than the uh, three quarter pipe thread itself. And then I force screwed it in there. And as I, when I got close to running out of threads, then I put the uh, silicone uh, sealant glue on it to where it's seal it tight. It's not leaking. So that's worked pretty good. And I'll show you here what I've got here on a, uh, a filter system I made. This is so when it comes off the gutters, it's full of trash. And like mine, my roof's getting kind of old. So all the little particles off your shingles is just running down here. You know what I'm talking about. And they get down here and they fill up everything. And it, gets, it keeps leaves and trash out. So you clean this out periodically after a good rain or so. So I'll show you how to put that together. So here I made a filter system. So this filter system, it, you, you can have. You don't have to have one. So you could just use a uh, a paint filter. You can get them at Lowe's or anywhere. Just a paint filter lay in there to catch your stuff and tie it off there, and just change it out periodically. That'd be real easy. But I made me something here. And what this is, you can see, I cut this hole where it 
me it's a five gallon bucket top. I'm gonna fill it. Got it So the next thing I done. put rivets around here, little plastic rivets. You probably see them. And what they is, is I took this, and this is just a piece of little 3 8 PVC. I just circled it around, bent it, heated it a little bit, and bent it around. And then I just took me a piece of old cloth I can put on a screen door or a window, and just cut it and looped it over and just threaded it with it piece of string like you would sewing and, and you can see but this fits in here right up against them rivets and it works real great I mean, use your imagination you don't have to do what I'm doing and then here's another filter this was a little bit big I had to cut it I need to replace it it's getting old in the season this is just a just like a for a skillet top, you know, splatter, splatter lid, metal screen. So then I've got that. So it's got two filters in it. So I push that right in on top of that. So you've got a filter on top, catch big stuff, and then you can catch more stuff if it gets through that. But believe me, I could put another filter on here and it'd still catch stuff, go through it, that little fine stuff. So you just have to clean this out every periodically. All right. Now, put this right here. Now this right here is the cover. This is top of your five-gallon bucket. I just got this tape kind of tight, so where it'll fit your gutter. You can see. All right. Now inside this, I'll pull it out. Here. I just got to clean this thing. For the spring. Right here, I just put like a gutter, you know, gutter screen. You can get them anywhere, or any piece of something. This is to catch the big stuff, like leaves or something coming down. This would keep them hitting the field and stop and hit up real quick. There's something you just reach up in there and take it out. It stops that. Well, that's just my little, my cover slides back on there like that. Like this, you've got your filters in. You cleaned them. Put this under here like this. There it is. Double filter. Water goes through here. Big stuff catches here. And it catches the finer stuff. It keeps it. It keeps it in line. All right, you slide this down. Locks right on there like on a bucket top. So that's all it is. There you go. Then you've got this extra port here, you know, spout where you unscrew it to pour stuff in and out on the barrel. All I done here is I took here and put a pipe fitting on it. And this is just an old fiberglass rod. You can get them anywhere, like uh, you know, fiberglass rod like you put for a marker, they for a transparent kit on the end of a driveway or something. And I just rigged me up something here so I can measure my water. Now some tanks you'll get will have a clear line down them and tell you half full, three quarter, quarter. But this one don't have that. So I just made me a dipstick so when it gets them long dry spells in the summertime, you want to know how much water you got. So you could add some in with a water hose. And as it sets a few days, that chlorine kind of dissolves away and you can use that. It's good for the garden. But direct old water out of them water hose is really not no good. I mean, he'll live on it, but he don't like it. And it don't taste good. So, this goes in here like that. And just measure my tank. Screws right down there. You don't know what else. It's been a long time. This water is down there. That's all there is to it. I'll show you how the setup is on the barrel. That's all there is to it. Use your own imagination. You don't have to do this, but this has worked real good. I can water my little garden bed every morning. You get a good rain. 
but now in the winter time, I leave this valve down here, the valve down here open. If you dump this drill through water, it'll freeze solid. Of course, I live in the south, so I don't think it'll freeze solid like you was living up north. It would freeze solid up there, and you may bust your tank or bust your valve. So just leave your valve open in the winter time, just let water go on through. That's all you gotta do. Well guys, on this tank here, I've showed you all the filter and stuff. Just simple, use your own imagination. And all I've done is whatever you don't, you know, about a foot off the ground here, I just set mine on box. If you set it on wood, you'll be changing that soon because they will get wet and it'll rot your wood. So I just set mine on box at every height you want for how high bucket you want your water going to. The only thing I wished I would have done different, instead of using one of these uh, regular valves, I would have used a, a, a gate valve, you know. I wished I'd have used that. I will the next time I ever have to change it. But that's all there is to it as far as that. As far as mounting it, you can see it right here. I just took me some wood at the same radius at the same radius as the, the barrel and just made a curve where it fit in here. And I even put me one up here. So I got two barrels. If I had to, I thought it was, but I just I just didn't do it. I could put a barrel, I could stack a barrel on top of this one and hit fashion up to here, just like this one is. And I got this in strap, just with that old strapping material. And it holds it real good if you get this thing level where it ain't no bind to water's level. So just straps it and holds it good. I've had this for a season now, so it's done real good. But when you get them dry spells, you run out of water. But that's just part of the game. But you could, in a dire emergency, Use this rainwater to drink, but I would filter it out better. And you can't just drink it. If you just don't, out of these trees and stuff, I don't dare you. would have to get you some, uh, uh, some filter uh, pills that, where you can uh, clean this thing. You can put pills in these uh, tanks, purify your water and purifying tablets. That's what I was going to say. But uh, that's all there is to it. So, hope this will help you all out. I'm just trying to share some of this stuff with you that's worked for me, you know. I kind of I kind of do a little bit of overkill on some stuff instead of just keeping it simple, but that's just me. So, hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you next time.